so, so what we were trying to do as a company was to build, to invent a new way of doing computing that solves problems that normal computers can't. In fact, if you just, if you just wrote that mission statement out, to do something that normal things can't, it's like to go, uh, I would like to build a new car to go places where normal cars can't. Well, usually what happens if normal cars can't go there, those places also aren't paved with roads or they're not that desirable to go to anyways. And, and, um, and so we, we came up with this mission statement to solve problems that normal computers can't. And uh, uh, several problems with, with, that, with that mission statement. Turned out it took us 33 years to do and it's, we succeeded at it. But the first thing is that the whole economy, the whole industry, the whole ecosystem wants to go where problems can be solved. Nobody wants to go to where problems can't be solved. And, and so the, where, where we are was rather lonely. You know, there aren't other people solving this problem because it's hard to solve. Uh, there aren't many customers because they, they tend not to choose problems like that. They want to have their problems be solvable, not unsolvable. Uh, and, and then the other thing is, is uh, Intel, watching us the whole time, uh, had the benefit, and, and you said they had they had um, greater source of cap access to capital, and that's completely true because they were so successful doing what they were doing, they kind of rejected what we were doing. And that's, in fact, the good news. Uh, over time, the reason why it took us so long is because it's hard, and the reason why we're <clears> here alone is because people left us alone for a long time. And, and, and there, there, there's a, there was a book that was re, re, written recently, and I, I, I picked it up and skimmed it, uh, Peter Thiel's uh, Zero to One book. In a lot of ways, it's kind of a story by NVIDIA, too. You know, we, we, chose, we chose to do something that nobody thought was possible or very hard to do um, and uh, very unlikely to succeed. Uh, but to us, it was very common sense. And so I think simultaneously, because it was hard to do, um, and also because they were so successful doing what they were already doing, they kind of rejected the idea until, until everything came together. Well, and you're also trying to make sure your company doesn't go in the direction of Intel also. So you're the leader today. How do you get that culture of constant innovation? And if I wanted to talk about Captain Kirk, to go where no one has gone before. Um, I think I think partly. Well, first of all, there's just no guarantees, but but um, we have several things about our company that's really quite extraordinary, and 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 I appreciate it as a person. I I wish my I wish upon my kids and the people I love to have have the same same his, same experience, which is which is that long, long suffering that comes with struggle. And you never take anything for granted. You're super, super efficient. Uh, you're, trying to, you're trying to save everything you can, save every penny you can, because you don't, you don't know when, you know, how long the struggle is gonna last. Uh, you have incredible resilience uh, because, because it took a long time to do it, and so the company has, has that in its character. Uh, almost everything we undertake, these day, even these days, or you know, five, ten-year endeavors. Uh, we're probably we're probably the the deepest in this new area called physical AI, which translates to robotics uh, in the world, and um, uh, the fundamental technology necessary for the next generation of AI. We're probably the furthest along, the deepest of anybody, and and so so I think I think those those characteristics of dreaming big on the one hand, um, and having the resilience and the character to to suffer until you see it happen, uh, I, I think that's, that's very good. Um, I think the, the other part that's good is, is um, you're always going out of business. For us, for, you know, for 30 years, we're always in a perpetual state of going out of business. And so you don't take anything for granted. And, and I, I don't, you know, when, we, when there's a setback, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't trouble me too much. Um, when we make mistakes, it doesn't surprise me too much. Uh, when we have success, I don't, I don't take it for granted, and we don't celebrate it too much, um, and we really stay, you know, stay focused on, on um, doing our work. And so I think part of that is, is just how long it took to build a company. 